Norwegian mountaineer who set a world record for tackling the world's highest peaks is defending herself tonight over the death of a porter on one of her climbs. Kristen Harilla is denying members of her group stepped over the dying man after he'd slipped and fallen near the summit of the dangerous K2 mountain. K2 is in the Karakoram range, which straddles Pakistan and China. It's the second tallest mountain in the world and one of the deadliest. Known as the Savage Mountain, K2 claims the lives of around 20% of those who try to reach its summit, 8,600 metres high. Now, warning that Louise's, Louise Scott's report contains footage from part of the ascent where the accident happened. K2 is described as the ultimate climb. Difficult and dangerous due in part to its inclement weather. At the end of July, more than 100 climbers took on the challenge, which included Norwegian mountaineer Kristen Harilla. Nava, can you hear us? We are on the summit of K2. It was her 14th highest peak in just over three months, a new world record. But video has now emerged of Pakistani porter Mohammed Hassan being stepped over as others made their way to the summit. 27-year-old Mohammed died before reaching the peak. It's a very, very narrow trail and it's super steep on this side and the, the the snow condition this year was very hard to walk on and i don't know and i didn't see actually when he fell but maybe the reason why he fell because the snow was um, very unstable we tried to to save him and also people behind us tried to save him but it's it's very very hard to save someone there and Kristen Harilla and her team were on their way to the summit when they reached the infamous bottleneck, a 100-metre narrow corridor that lies 400 metres from the peak. There they found Mohammed Hassan, who had fallen from the path, his rope still attached to the others. Other climbers who were there have questioned Mohammed's lack of appropriate equipment. He was not well equipped. Uh, he had uh, no training for these kind of things and actually uh, he had also no education. Uh, uh, it was uh, told by his wife to us. Uh, the wife told us uh, that it was his first time on uh, working on the K2 mountain. The reality of scaling the world's highest peaks is that some don't make it home. But this incident has raised concerns around the compassion given to the locals who are helping others achieve their goals. Louise Scott, ITV News.